The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. My brother is a teacher and a coach, was home between uh, teaching, came home to check on the house because of the posting of the address, and someone had uh, sliced the propane line uh, to his, um, his grill, uh, and the backyard was covered in, in propane. I just want to thank law enforcement for doing such a tremendous job on this and helping to protect uh, my family. Uh, this is something where, you know, in this country we can disagree on our politics, but we settle it at the ballot box. We've had people, uh, members of Congress, whose kids have been expressly uh, threatened with death. Uh, this is a very serious thing, um, and uh, it needs to be taken very seriously, and I, I think uh, people are starting to do that. Are you, are, are you fearing for the safety of your family and your brother and your brother's family? I have a lot of confidence in, uh, in the police and the law enforcement in the area. I think everyone's uh, on it now. I think um, this is important. We've had some officials in our state speak up very strongly. The Republican governor of my state, Bob McDonnell, uh, our attorney general, Ken Cuccinelli, who is part of the, the group that thinks this is unconstitutional but agrees very much that the posting of addresses and certainly uh, any threat to property or, or family is way over the line. Uh, unfortunately, we're not seeing that same uh, seriousness from the Republican leaders here in Washington. But the most important thing is that we keep our family safe and we keep the democratic process safe. Well, let me ask you what you mean by that, because House Minority Leader John Boehner actually did come out and condemn the, the attacks. He was on television yesterday. He also released a written statement saying not the American way about these um, these uh, attacks, the vandalism, the bricks through the uh, windows that we've seen in some of these congressional uh, home offices. But he also said, uh, this is what else he said. He said that basically uh, you need to channel the anger for positive change, call your congressman, go out and register. He called the violence and threats unacceptable. Isn't that enough? Uh, actually, I thought his statement was fairly outrageous. Uh, what he was saying was, for those of you who are threatening people's children, we want you to channel that anger uh, into the campaign. No, we want those people to go to jail. That's what I'm hearing from the Republicans in my district and in my state. They understand the difference between someone who's breaking the law and someone who's simply upset about policy. And for John Boehner to seem to, to conflate these two was really quite an outrageous statement. No, people who are doing these things that are clearly outside the law, as my very conservative attorney general said, these people need to be prosecuted, not brought into the campaign room. Those who are simply upset about health care and have every right to do so, they need to be part of the political process in the same way that all of those who support health care do. So I think that uh, many of the folks back home who've just been uh, great, even some of my most ardent opponents uh, about calling this out, uh, that doesn't seem to be reaching the folks up here in Washington. Uh, an organizer for the Lynchburg Tea Party, Mike Troxell, is reportedly claiming responsibility for posting your brother's address. And this is what he said uh, at the time of this post. He said, just in case any of your friends and neighbors want to drop by and say hi, express their thanks regarding his vote for health care. He's referring to you. Uh, I guess he inadvertently put your brother's address there. I personally believe it's important for representatives to remain fully grounded and remember exactly what, is, uh, what it is their constituents are saying and how they're telling them to vote. He goes on to say nothing quite does that like a face-to-face -face chat. Uh, do you think he was basically trying to incite people to threaten your family uh, by, by putting up that post? Well, you know, I think in this country we've got to keep in mind the difference between did I listen to you and did I agree with you. Uh, you know, I listen to a lot of people in my district, including the hospitals, the doctors, the nurses, so many people who wanted health care reform, and so many people who were concerned about it. That's part of the democratic process. Uh, but when you listen to these recordings of people saying, I'm going to kill your children, and I know where they are, think about how un-American and undemocratic it is to say, I'm going to hold your vote hostage uh, and threaten your family with violence. Every right-thinking person and knows that this is over the line, that these things uh, have to be called out. And again, you know, the, the, one of the Tea Party movements in my district put out a very strong statement yesterday right. clearly condemning this. There are lots of good, decent people uh, who have been on the, the opposition side of right. this who don't deserve to be painted with the same brush. But let me ask you uh, about this. Do you think that your, uh, some of your fellow GOP congressmen here are inciting this violence? Well, I think people have to be very conscious of the things that they say. And I think when, uh, when Mr. Boehner is unable to draw the difference between people who are threatening children and people who simply oppose health care reform, uh, that's kind of offensive to uh, you know, his, his own supporters as well as uh, to those of us who, who feel like our families have been put in harm's way. So I, I don't think that reality is quite sunk in up here. Um, first and foremost, we should all be able to agree, whether you're a political leader uh, or a TV personality or what have you, uh, that simply saying this is absolutely unacceptable to ever harm or threaten to harm uh, a member of their family. This isn't a partisan thing. Uh, this is just a basic American value, and I hope we'll get stronger and clearer statements up here of that uh, to make sure that that signal is very clear.